Hello, students. I am Diao Xinxing. Today, I will give you a course on water pollution control technology, biological treatment technology part. Today, we will learn the activated sludge process together. Treatment process of activated sludge process. The basic process of our activated sludge process. Activated sludge process consists of primary sedimentation tank, aeration tank, and secondary sedimentation tank. Composition of aeration system and sludge backflow system. Aeration tank and secondary sedimentation tank. It is the basic component of activated sludge process. The picture shows our two domestic sewage treatment plants. Basic process of activated sludge process. So we see in the picture. Basic process of activated sludge process, including aeration tank and secondary sedimentation tank. Sewage enters the aeration tank. Under the aeration of air, there are microorganisms that can decompose organic pollutants. The sewage will then enter the secondary sedimentation tank. Our activated sludge will be settled here. Immediately after we treated the water, you can get out of the water. Then part of the sewage settled by the secondary sedimentation tank will return to the aeration tank through sludge backflow. There is also a part that will act as excess sludge discharge system. Wastewater stays in aeration tank for about 3 to 5 hours. 90% of BOD in water can be removed. Process principle of activated sludge process. Activated sludge in aeration process. Degradation or removal of organic matter. It can be divided into two stages. There are mainly adsorption stage and decomposition stage. The adsorption stage is. Because of the huge surface area of activated sludge, the surface contains viscous substances, resulting in organic matter in sewage. Transfer to the surface of activated sludge. At the initial stage of treatment, activated sludge passed adsorption. It is usually completed in 30 minutes. The removal rate of BOD in sewage can reach 70%. You can see, the removal rate of BOD is very high in the adsorption stage, and the speed is also very fast. The second stage is the decomposition stage. It is mainly the organic matter transferred to the active mud, used by microbial metabolism. Because although the organic pollutants in the first stage are adsorbed, but it has not been decomposed or completely removed. Microorganisms in activated sludge, heterotrophic bacteria with organic matter as carbon source are the main components. Heterotrophic bacteria will take some organic matter, oxidation to carbon dioxide and water, while another part of organic matter can be synthesized into new cellular material. Basic characteristics of activated sludge process. 1. Using activated sludge as the main body of biochemical reaction. 2. Use aeration equipment to provide oxygen. 3. Stirring the system to increase contact and mass transfer process. 4. Return microorganisms to the system through sludge reflux. 5. Often discharge part of activated sludge. Next, let's study the performance evaluation index of activated sludge. As shown in the figure, the mixed solution is obtained from the biochemical tank. It is the active mud in the biochemical pond. Sludge concentration index. Suspended solid concentration of mixed solution is also called MLSS. Indicates the concentration of activated sludge in the mixed solution of aeration tank. It is generally expressed in milligrams per liter or kilograms per cubic meter. Concentration of volatile suspended solids in mixed solution, also known as MLVSS. It refers to the concentration of suspended solids in the mixed liquid, volatile part. It can also represent microbial components in suspended solids of mixed solution. Indicates the concentration of organic suspended solids, generally expressed in milligrams per liter or kilograms per cubic meter. Second sludge settling performance index. The sludge settling ratio is called SV or SV30. Take 1000 milliliters or 100 milliliters of mixed solution from the dosing cylinder. Let's stand for 30 minutes. Then measure the volume of precipitated activated sludge. Proportion of mixed liquid volume. As shown in the figure, we can take 100 milliliters or 1000 milliliters of the mixture. Let's stand for 30 minutes. We'll see. The activated sludge in the quantity will settle slowly. Then 30 minutes later, we're based on the mixture. It is the interface between sludge and supernatant. Can read. 
This reading can be used as the value of SV30 is the sludge settling ratio of the system. The value is generally between 20% and 30%. Reflect the systems in this range. Activated sludge has good settling property. Load. Volumetric load. The amount of baud and cod removed per unit volume and per unit time. This is what we call volumetric load. We usually express it in kg baud per cubic meter per day. Meaning of volumetric load refers to the organic pollutant load per unit volume of the tank body. In a day's time, the amount of baud or COD that can be removed, it can be used to evaluate removal capacity of baud and cod in sewage treatment system. Sludge load F, M, unit mass of activated sludge, the amount of baud or cod removed per unit time, sludge load, which represents unit mass of sludge in a day, the amount of baud or COD that can be removed. This indicator can also be used to measure removal ability of organic pollutants by sludge in system. Its unit is generally used. Kilogram baud per dry gram MLSS is expressed every day. All right students, that's all for our class today. See you later.